what is a Linux screen command? So a screen command basically it's a Linux utility. Uh, suppose if you want to run multiple commands uh, simultaneously, you can use screen command. So let me give a scenario. Uh, so this is just an example. You can run multiple commands simultaneously as well as. So consider I want to copy two TB file from one virtual machine to S3 bucket. Okay, you can take any source and destination. So there is no restriction. So what I'm going to do, I'll try to connect my virtual machine through SSH. Uh, then I will execute my command. Okay, I can use AWS S3, CP, then source and destination. So this will start copying the file from my virtual machine to my S3 bucket. So the problem is my file size, source file size is very high, right, very heavy. So the problem is, uh, since it is a 2TB file, this might be take two days, maybe three days. Uh, this is going to uh, depends number of factors, right? Uh, what is the size of the file? What is the bandwidth? What is the throughput of my virtual machine? So this will depend multiple factors over here. So the problem is if even if it is taking two hours, maybe two days, maybe three days. So I cannot open my laptop every time, right? I want to close my laptop after five minutes due to some reason. So the problem whenever you close your laptop or terminal, so you this process also will stop. So whatever the process you are doing, so this will interrupt. So consequently, you won't be able to complete the task, whatever the task you initiated. So what you can do, you have a two methods. Either you can use the Ansible server to automate this process, then it will be running in background. Uh, second thing, uh, you can create a pipeline, uh, then you can achieve this. And third option, screen command. Okay, if you don't want to use Ansible, if you don't want to use uh, pipeline, then better you should go with a, a screen command. So this is the example. Or if you want to run multiple command uh, simultaneously in shell, that also possible. For example, you're already running one command, CP command. So now this is progressing. So until unless this is completed, you cannot run another command in Linux. Right. So now let's go ahead and do a demo. Uh, then you will understand more about that. So my purpose, I want to, uh, yeah, I want to run a top command over here. Okay, top. I'm executing this. So now you can see that I can see CPU memory and what's my load of my CPU. Uh, I can see all the process which is consuming currently, right? Everything I can see. If I want to run another command right now, it's not possible because already this top is running uh, in a keep alive mode. So I cannot run another command over here until unless I stop this or I interrupt this. But by using uh, screen command we can run multiple command so let me show you that first so now I interrupted this process I'll come back to the older screen so first we have to check how many screen you have how many session you have so basically this is creating a virtual sessions in your Linux system so for example screen uh, minus ls uh, here you can see that we don't have any session now right let me create two session uh, one for top command another one for htop so i want to execute top as well as htop so both are look like similar uh, but this is giving some graphical representation and some additional information rather than this top command but the problem i cannot run both commands simultaneously since i'm using one terminal right so now i'll create two terminal then i will run two sessions simultaneously let's see how we can do it so we already checked uh, how many session we have we don't have any session to create a session you can use screen minus x uh, minus yes this is for session then you can pass your session name so i'll give top this is my top session then enter so now you entered into a session so now you can run your command over here so i'm executing top yeah so now i can see top command is running now to come out of the session you should not click on Q or any other button you should press control then add control A, A stands for all D for detach so control A D so now I came from the session now let me check how many session is running screen minus ls so now you can see that we have a session called top and the id is 3329 okay this is the id of this session top top session okay now if you want to see that top command again 
you can just reattach the session and you can see that see still that session is progressing we have been interrupted okay let me do that so screen uh, we can use screen minus r4 reattach then you can pass your session id 3329 dot top okay enter see still you can see that the session is progressing and uh, uh, this is not interrupted at all so again control ad4 all detach uh, now we can see we have one session is running uh, that is top session so i'm gonna create one more session now so screen minus yes uh, this is for h top I'll, I'll call it as h top and enter i have created now i will run the command h top enter okay now this command is progressing i'm not going to interrupt i'll come out of the session by using control ad cool uh, that also completed now let me uh, verify that by using screen minus ls this is going to list all the screen we have a two screen one is h top another one is top so now i can run two commands simultaneously without any restriction or interruption Suppose if you want to open your stop session, you can open the session and you can see the progress. You can see top session and you can see the progress. Suppose if you want to copy certain files, 2TB, 3TB or 100TB files, uh, you can create a session, then you can run the command over there. Okay. And uh, other users or other developers, they can still access your virtual machine or server and they can uh, perform any other tasks. Okay. So this is the coolest utility. So you can try out once. Uh, if you guys have any doubt, uh, please do let me know through comment. Uh, I can help you out.